Today, I'm going to be spending an entire season in VR football. Now, if you don't know what VR is, well, it's pretty much where you, you could travel to different worlds virtually. See, look at me. I'm fighting Rocky right now. Just kidding. I was doing it virtually. Or you could travel to a world where you're Iron Man virtually. But I'm going to be spending an entire season in the NFL as a quarterback virtually. Also, I'd be appreciated if you would like and subscribe. This took days upon days to make, please. I loaded into my game and now it was time for me to pick a team. Problem was, I didn't know what team I wanted to be. I eventually chose and I wanted to be part of the Minnesota Vikings. Mainly why is because of Justin Jefferson and they haven't won a Super Bowl. After customizing our character, um, we had to do the stupid tutorial. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch this, so I'm just gonna fast forward all of it. Now, right before we begin, I'm going to be doing something that will challenge me. I'm going to be turning off this thing called Pass Assist. Now, what this does is it makes it easier to pass the ball. All these other YouTubers that have done these types of videos use it. Now, I'm going to be turning it off. The time has come, and it is now time to hop in to our first game. We won the opening coin toss, and for some reason, I chose Receive here. That is definitely going to come and kick us in the butt. And on my first ever NFL play, I, well, yeah. Here I had to face my first and ever third and ten moment. And this is when I figured out the power of the rushing game. Here I ran for like 20 yards. Oh my god. But then after a couple more times of rushing, finally complete my first ever pass to Justin Jefferson. Right after making a pass to Justin Jefferson, I was able to make one to Kendrick Osborne for him to get a massive gain. And then I threw my first ever interception. Oh no. Green Bay scored a touchdown on us, but I was not going to let that drag me down. At the end of the second quarter, I ended up passing for my first ever touchdown. And we left them with such little time too. And this is where I forget, I chose receive at the beginning of the game. Told you that was going to come and bite me in the butt. And we had lost our game 27-14. to 14. This means we are starting off the season 0-1. and one. I went into our second game very confident. I won the opening coin toss again and of course I chose kick. We ended up having a long way ahead of us to go so I took this drive all nice and smooth. After this dot to Adam Feeland, I felt very confident in this game. And then I threw an absolute bomb to Justin Jefferson. <sighs> yeah, let's go. I was not missing any throws no this way. entire game. Oh my. Then I threw a dot to TJ Hawkinson for a touchdown. On our first drive, we score a touchdown. We had 91 yards, and I don't think we had one incompletion. Then I hit TJ Hawkinson again, and he takes it for a long way, juking out multiple defenders and then going out of bounds for no reason. Good job, but also bad job. I'm honestly starting to think I should be an NFL quarterback. I mean, just look at this throw for a touchdown to Adam Thielen. Let's go! Adam Thielen has been our man today. I mean, look at this catch and the coverage. Hey, if I'm going to be honest, I was supposed to hit TJ. But I'm also happy I hit Adam. Guys, I just got drafted by the Chiefs because of this throw. No way. <laughs> yes! That was a dot! A absolute dot! I literally have no idea why Adam Phelan is outperforming Justin Jefferson. He's just making more catches. I mean, look at this. He takes it all the way for a touchdown. Adam Phelan! Let's go! You know, I celebrated because I didn't think the Eagles would score in three minutes. But boy, am I wrong. I have no idea how this game was going in to overtime yes we may have won the toss but does this mean we win the game on the first play of ot i throw deep to justin jefferson but extremely inaccurate it's mainly because there's a lot of pressure in overtime it was 30 inches, and if I messed up here, our team would have punt. So I just decided to take off, and it was a great decision because I got a lot of yards out of it, getting all the way up past the 40. I didn't see any wide open receivers, so I decided to just take off, and it was a good decision because... 
It had won us the game. We win! We win the game! We had 447 yards in total. This means we have a 1-1 one and one record. Game 3, we would be going up against a divisional rival. We won the coin toss again. We certainly aren't Josh Allen. On this play, I throw an absolute dot to Justin. <laughs> I was being extremely pressured here, and Kendrick Osborne saved us. Kendrick Osborne! Okay, if I'm going to be honest, this should have been a pick. This right here was one hell of a catch by Kendrick Osborne. Let's go! Our defense ended up making Detroit punt. I would end up getting an amazing pass to TJ Hawkinson. Let's go! And then I hit Adam Phelan for our amazing touchdown. Let's go! Detroit would end up scoring a touchdown, making the score 14 to 10. Right before the half ended, I decided to take off for a first down. I meant to go out of bounds, but I just completely forgot, and I think it would be best if I just kept on running. And that's what I did. I almost scored a touchdown here, but I ended up getting tackled before reaching out my arm. Luckily, we got the ball at half, so this was a great opportunity to have a double lead on them. And on the first play of half, I hit Justin Jefferson, and he ran all the way for a touchdown. Go, go, go! The score was 21 to 10, and we had a very safe lead, but the Lions could still bounce back and take a lead against us and win the game. The Lions had kicked a field goal, and now it was time for us to go back on the field. And on the first play, I would actually end up getting sacked. And sacked again, but this time it was for a safety. All it took was six points to tie the game. And the Lions had done it. They scored a touchdown. And now, now the score was 22 to 21. I was back on the field and I was ready to score a touchdown. And I was ready to prove that with this play, passing deep to Kendrick Osborne, and he breaks a tackle, getting all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Yes! No, we need to go for two. Here, we needed to go for two. All the Lions had to do was score a touchdown and they would win the game. And that's exactly what they do here, scoring a touchdown making it 29 to 28. The Lions left us with 50 seconds on the clock, which I think is enough for us to go get a touchdown or go get a field goal. It was third and 10, which means I'm probably gonna run. There's a lot of pressure on my back and I don't wanna pass the ball and I have to go out of bounds immediately. I fired the ball to Justin Jefferson and he catches it one-handed and takes off down the field, saving the game for us. And I timed out immediately and now it was time to kick a field goal. With six seconds at the 26 yard line, our kicker goes and misses. With the easiest kick in the world, we lose. I knew I did really good that game, it was just our kicker. Now it was time to go up against the Saints. Only if I knew I was gonna go on a four game win streak. <laughs> I'm really sorry that this looks like Pac-Man, but so we go on to win these games. And then we went against the Dolphins, and then we went against the Cardinals, and then we went against Washington. Now we're gonna go check in on Buffalo. And this game was really a close call. I mean, we, we almost took this. And then we'd have to suck Buffalo's... Oh my god. We'd have to suck their nose, okay? We'd have to suck their nose. All right, well, here's the gameplay against Buffalo. Okay, for some reason, this game was at Buffalo, but we would actually end up winning the coin toss, and I chose kick, of course. Our defense would end up making Buffalo punt, which is really shocking. On our first play, I hit TJ Hawkinson, and he was able to get us a first down. And then I threw an absolute bomb to Justin Jefferson, and he would take it all the way for a touchdown. Then I threw a pass to TJ Hawkinson. Then I got into some beef with one of my players. Then threw a pass to Kendrick Osborne for about 15 yards. Then I sadly got sacked on third down, and now we have to punt. Then Buffalo would throw an interception to me. 
and I would give it right back. Once I got the ball back after the interception, I didn't throw the same passes. I did not want to lose this game, so I threw a dot to Adam Thielen. Then the first half ended and the score was 10 to 7. Then one of the craziest glitches happened. I threw the ball at the back of my O lineman and it counted as a fumble. And it was third down too. So this means we got the first. Then I threw a dot to Adam Thielen. Then I threw a pass to TJ Hawkinson. Then I missed a wide open Justin Jefferson. Then it was fourth down, so the kicking unit had to come out and it ended up being good. After the punt, we were in our end zone, and I still have flashbacks. I threw deep to Justin Jefferson, but I missed. It was 3rd and 10, so I decided to take off, and it didn't go too great. I ended up getting tackled and only getting 5 yards, so that means we had the punt. Since this moment was super serious right here, I decided to watch it, and we ended up getting an interception. I'm not too sure who got it, but he ended up breaking 3 tackles on this play which is absolutely amazing and he was able to get it all the way up past the 50 and i threw the ball to kendrick osborne and he took it for a touchdown we ended up winning against buffalo 17 to 10 which means we were seven and two after our massive win against the buffalo bills i had a certain mindset for the cowboys game that we were about to play do not lose to the cowboys please on the first play of the game i passed to justin jefferson then I hit TJ Hawkinson. Then I hit TJ Hawkinson again, but this time it was for a touchdown. Dallas scored a touchdown, making it 7-7. As soon as I got back on the field, I immediately gave Dallas the ball back. And for some reason, it wouldn't let me tackle him here. I literally almost dove like right into my desk. Dallas would end up scoring another touchdown, making it 7-14. I wasn't about to lose to Dallas, right? We would end up having the punt, which is sad, and I really hope Dallas does not score a touch. <sighs> I guess in this game too, huh? Dallas is the best team in the NFL. Now, even though we were down by 21 points, I hit TJ Hawkinson here, and I was actually going to try and make a comeback. Well, good luck with that. I threw a touchdown to TJ Hawkinson, which got us one step closer to tying this game up. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. I ended up losing to Dallas 35-21. to Now we have a record of 7-3. and Now we're going up against the New England Patriots who have a 4-6 and record. We would end up losing the coin toss which means we get the ball first. It was 3rd and 10 and yeah you guys know the drill. We were able to get the first down and a lot more and I was able to get all the way past the 50. I threw a beautiful pass to Justin Jefferson here so we could get the first down. Then I took off again, and I just ran all over the New England Patriots defense, getting a touchdown. Here, I throw an absolute laser to Adam Phelan. Here, I was thinking about throwing deep, but I decided to take off, and it was a great decision, and I decided to go out of bounds. Here, I throw a touchdown to TJ Hawkinson. That ended up making the score 14-0. Then New England scored a touchdown. Then I scored a touchdown. Then New England scored a what? Oh, no. They, they're they punting. I threw deep to Gendrick Osborne. It was a little low, but he still managed to catch it. Then I threw a ball to TJ Hawkinson, and he catches it one-handed and gets the touchdown. We won this game 31-17, to and our record is 8-3. I forgot to start my recorder, but we're going up against the Jets, who haven't won a single game. It was 3rd and 10, so I decided to take off, and I ended up rushing all the way for a touchdown. Also, in that drive, I had no passing yards. That's a little sad. The Jets ended up scoring a field goal, making the score 7-3. to I finally completed a pass to my favorite tight end, TJ Hawkinson, and he went far. Then I hit Adam Thielen for a touchdown. The score was now 14 to 3. Then I hit Adam Thielen and he went far, juking out some defenders. Then I hit Kendrick Osborne for one hell of a catch for a touchdown. Now the score was 21 to 3. I literally have no idea how this guy scored a touchdown against us. Then I threw a dot to Justin Jefferson. Then I hit Kendrick Osborne. Then on third down, I missed Kendrick Osborne for a pass. Which means now we are forced to punt. Then I hit Jay Jettis for a touchdown. 
We ended up winning this game 28 to 10. Now we have a 9 and 3 record. Now it was time for a rematch against the Lions. We ended up winning the coin toss and I chose kick. The Lions would end up scoring a touchdown. I would throw deep to Justin Jefferson and of course he would catch it. Then I would throw a pass to TJ Hawkinson. Then I would take off for a touchdown. We would end up forcing the Lions to punt. Then I would hit TJ Hawkinson for a touchdown. That would now make the score 14 to seven. The Lions would end up scoring a touchdown, making it 14 to 14. We would end up getting our revenge on the Lions by winning 28 to 21. Now we're 10 and three, and now we are in the playoffs. After beating the Lions, now it was time to go up against the Colts. And if you remember, it was the largest comeback in NFL history. And uh, Matt Ryan also got, uh, you know. We would end up winning the coin toss, and I would, of course, choose kick. Matt Ryan and the Colts would end up scoring a touchdown against our defense. I would end up getting sacked on third down here. Now we had the punt. There is absolutely no way I am losing to the Indianapolis Colts. I don't know why. I mean, I, I just don't like playing at my own stadium. At least we wouldn't lose to the New York Giants, which would be pretty embarrassing. Then we would literally smoke the Packers, winning 42-17. to We had one final game before the playoffs, and I really want that number one seed. So I'm going to try my best in this game to beat the Chicago Bears. I would end up winning the coin toss, and I would choose kick. Then our defense would make the Bears punt on 4th and 24. On the first play of the game, I would hit TJ Hawkinson for 10 yards. Then I proved that I'm a better scrambler than Justin Fields by rushing for like 40 yards. I hit Justin Jefferson on an out, and he was able to get about a good 20-yard gain. The first quarter just ended, and the score is still 0-0. Zero zero. On the first play of the second quarter, I rushed in for a touchdown. The Bears were able to score the touchdown to make it 7-7. Then I would hit TJ Hawkinson for a good 40-yard gain. Then I would hit Kendrick Osborne. Then I'd hit Dalvin Cook. Then I'd hit TJ Hawkinson right before the half ends. To start off the second half, I would hit Justin Jefferson. Then I'd throw a pass to Adam Thielen. Then I would hit Justin Jefferson for a touchdown. Now the score was 14-7. We win this game 28 to 14. Now it is time for the playoffs. We ended up not getting the first seed, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the wild card game against the Panthers. On the first play against the Panthers, I throw a pass to T.J. Hawkinson where he breaks a tackle and runs for a lot of yards. Then I threw a deep pass to Justin Jefferson, and of course he caught it. The Panthers ended up scoring a field goal, which is great because now we can get a double possession lead against them. And that's what we would do here, passing to Jalen Rieger for a touchdown. The Panthers would end up scoring a touchdown, making it 14-10. And they left us with such little time in the second quarter too. And they won the coin toss at the beginning of the game, so if they score a touchdown, they would be in the lead. And that's what they did here, now it is time for us to bounce back and score a touchdown. And we were able to take a lead by me rushing in for a touchdown. And we would win our first playoff game 28 to 20. Now it is time to move on to the divisional round. We would be going up against the Cardinals who we beat last year. We would end up losing the coin toss, but the Cardinals chose receive. If I'm gonna be honest, this entire game was super boring, but we ended up winning 28 to 17. It was now time to play in the conference championship against the Packers. To start off the play, I passed to Justin Jefferson, who ran all the way for a touchdown. We would end up getting the ball back from the Packers, and I would pass to Justin Jefferson for what I thought was a touchdown. It doesn't matter because I would just rush in for a touchdown. The score would now be 14-0. The Packers would end up scoring a touchdown. The Packers would end up scoring another touchdown. Once I got the ball back, I decided I was going to scramble, and it was a good decision because I ended up scoring a touchdown. The Packers would end up scoring a field goal. After the Packers scored that field goal, I would pass to Justin Jefferson for a touchdown. This would make the score 28-17. to 
the Packers would end up scoring a touchdown, but they would miss the two-point conversion, so it looks like we are going to the Super Bowl. And after a long season, we are going to the Super Bowl. In the Super Bowl, we were going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. In the beginning of the Super Bowl, we won the coin toss, and I chose kick. Our defense was able to make Cincinnati punt the ball, and now it was our turn on offense. On the first play of the Super Bowl, I did not expect us to be at the four, so I decided I was just going to take off because I did not want to risk a safety. Then I ran again, then I ran some more, then I ran some more to finish off the job and get the first touchdown of the Super Bowl. Then our defense made Cincinnati punt again. I took the opportunity to get a double touchdown lead against Cincinnati, so I fired a bomb to Justin Jefferson for a touchdown. I am in shock that we made Cincinnati punt again. On the first play, I fired deep to Justin Jefferson to get a massive gain. And right after that, the first half just ended. Now remember, we won the coin toss at the beginning of the game. I fired a ball to Justin Jefferson, and he took off for 40 yards. I fired a quick pass to Justin Jefferson to get him his second touchdown of the day. I found it so crazy that we had a three possession lead against Cincinnati in the Super Bowl. Cincinnati finally scored their first touchdown, but we still have a two possession lead against them. I threw to Adam Thielen for about 50 yards. Then I threw a pass to Kendrick Osborne on an out route. Then I passed to TJ Hawkinson who almost got a touchdown here. Then I let TJ Hawkinson finish off the job. Cincinnati would score a touchdown here, making it 28-14. I ran out the clock, and on the final play, I did a QB nail. And we had done it. We won the Super Bowl, 28-14 to against Cincinnati. I never thought I'd be holding a Lombardi trophy. There's only one thing we have left to do. When I took off my headset, I realized something. It's people's dream to be an NFL quarterback. Like, when I was smaller, I wanted to be OJ Simpson, and that was my dream. You know, he was a great football player, and he was a great driver, too. Sometimes, your dreams, dreams. 